Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In April 2025, SMIC announced that the mass production of 5 nanometers chips has entered the final verification stage, which marks that China's semiconductor industry has officially entered the world's top ranks. Behind this breakthrough, the technical breakthroughs of the team of academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences played a key role. From the core components of lithography machines to process technology innovation, domestic technology is rewriting the global semiconductor landscape. 1. Technological Breakthrough – The Leap from Laboratory to Mass Production The 5 nanometers laser lithography technology developed by Zhong Ziyang's team at the Suzhou Institute of Nanotechnology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, has achieved a breakthrough in the 155th diffraction limit through dual laser beam overlapping technology, reaching a 5 nanometers line width at a wavelength of 405 nanometers. This technology bypasses the complex optical path system of EUV lithography machines and provides a new path for domestic chip manufacturing. At the same time, the core components of the 5 nanometers etching machine developed by Jingjiang Enterprises and the Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have been tried out on TSMC's 5 nanometers production line, and the technical indicators have reached the international advanced level. In the field of lithography light sources, Lin Nan's team at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made significant progress. The solid laser-driven EUV light source it developed has an energy conversion efficiency of 3.42%, 2% bandwidth, reaching the international advanced level, laying the foundation for the mass production of domestic EUV lithography machines. This technical route not only reduces the dependence on carbon dioxide lasers, but also reduces the volume of the light source by 90% and the cost by 60%. 2. Academicians' Viewpoint balance between technological independence and international cooperation. As early as 2001, Wang Jijiang, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, pointed out that EUV lithography will be the mainstream technology of future semiconductor manufacturing, and suggested that China should tackle core technologies such as light sources and optical systems as soon as possible. This forward-looking judgment pointed out the direction for subsequent research and development. Academician Bai Chunli emphasized that China had the ability to develop lithography machines in the 1970s, but due to market competition, the technology gap has been caused, and now it is necessary to rebuild an independent industrial chain. In terms of the choice of technical paths, experts from the Chinese Academy of Sciences advocate walking on two legs, on the one hand, continue to break through EUV technology, and on the other hand, explore alternatives such as DUV multiple exposure and laser direct writing. For example, Huawei and SMIC use DUV equipment to achieve 5 nanometers process. Although the yield is only one third of TSMC, it has accumulated valuable experience for domestic technology. This strategy of trading time for space reflects the pragmatism and wisdom of the scientific research team. 3. International Pattern – Dynamic Game of Cooperation and Competition Technological Complementarity Between China and Brazil The cooperation between China and Brazil in the field of semiconductors is deepening. Jiangbalong integrated the packaging and testing resources of memory chips through the acquisition of Zelia Company in Brazil and built a full chain capability from design to manufacturing. This cooperation model not only improves the level of local manufacturing in Brazil, but also provides a fulcrum for Chinese storage companies to open up the South American market. In addition, the joint research and development of China and Brazil in the fields of photonic chips and satellite communications has further strengthened the synergy between the two sides in the field of emerging technologies. Competition and Cooperation Between China and India India has accelerated the layout of the semiconductor industry in recent years, plans to launch the first 28 nanometers chip in 2025, 
and cooperate with NVIDIA to develop AI chips. Although China and India have not yet formed direct competition in lithography technology, India's rise in packaging testing, chip design, and other links may pose a potential challenge to China. However, the technical exchanges between the two sides under the international framework of the ITER project still leave room for cooperation. 4. Challenges and Prospects Technical Breakthroughs and Industrial Ecology Despite significant progress, domestic lithography machines still face multiple challenges. The mirror processing accuracy of EUV optical systems needs to reach the subnanometer level, which places extremely high demands on materials science and precision manufacturing. In addition, international giants, such as ASML, are trying to delay China's technological breakthroughs through patent barriers and supply chain control. In terms of industrial ecology, China needs to accelerate the construction of an independent and controllable semiconductor industry chain. From the core components of lithography machines, such as Hua Jinka's dual workbench technology, to materials such as photoresists and masks, the entire chain needs to be localized. The cooperation model between the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Enterprises, such as the technology transformation between the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics and Xinkailai, provides an example for solving the stuck neck problem. V. Rational Review, The Gap Between Technological Breakthroughs and Reality The current mass production of domestic 5 nanometers chips still relies on DUV multiple exposure technology and the gap with EUV lithography machines objectively exists. ASML's high NA EUV lithography machine has entered the 2 nanometers process research and development, while China still needs time to integrate EUV whole machines. But as academician Wang Jijiang said, technological breakthroughs require long-term accumulation, and China's advantages in basic fields, such as laser physics, and optical design provide the possibility of catching up in the future. For ordinary consumers, mass production of 5 nanometers chips means faster mobile phones and more efficient AI computing power, but the dividend transformation of technological progress still needs time. In the short term, the cost-effectiveness of domestic chips may not be as good as that of international giants, but in the long run, technological autonomy will provide fundamental guarantees for industrial security and innovative development. From laboratory breakthroughs in 5 nanometers laser lithography technology to engineering verification of EUV light sources, the domestic semiconductor industry is undergoing a transformation from following to running side by side. The continuous research of the team of academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences not only provides intellectual support for technological breakthroughs, but also contributes to the Chinese solution for global semiconductor governance with the model of independent innovation plus international cooperation. The ultimate goal of this technological game is not only to lead the chip process, but also to build an open, inclusive and sustainable global science and technology ecosystem. In this process, rationality, pragmatism and cooperation will be more valuable than simple technical competition.